Hello again, I'm up at the caravan. I've just come to do a couple of jobs um, and uh, I've just thought I'd do a quick video on um, just something we looked at last year when we went to France and that was the issue of reverse polarity. Now when you get to the site, uh, if you say like you're going to France, they should tell you or they should be able to tell you whether it is reverse polarity. A lot of the sites when you book them online will tell you whether you need an adapter or not. Um, the first time we went to France, uh, we, we learned um, a difficult way because uh, we were put in a field basically at the top end of the campsite. It was a lovely site, one of these Eurocamp ones we bought direct. Um, but the, the uh, extension cable where we plugged into uh, was actually, um, there was like a hut not far away from us and there was just loads of extension leads that were running off these plugs that were in, in this uh, little bit of a hut. And we plugged in to uh, this extension lead, uh, which then obviously plugged into our van. Uh, I did check it, and when we got there, it said it was reverse polarity. Um, but after a few days, um, I checked it again. I, I don't know what made, I think the power went off and it just made me check it again. And it was back to normal and I couldn't understand why it had changed. They, they, I think what had happened is the power had gone off, they had an issue with their main fuses and they possibly changed it round. Um, and I didn't really like the fact that they were all um, extension leads running around. Uh, it was like an extension to the campsite. And um, as you walk down the extension to the campsite, there were uh, just vans in the middle of the, the fields and these extension leads running off all over the place. So I, I wasn't really uh, particularly happy with that. We, we didn't get any faults, everything was okay while we were there, but just, it's just definitely check, um, you know, to make sure it's wired up right. On some of the new vans, the newer model vans, on your fuse box, you will have a uh, maybe an indicator light that will tell you that it's reverse polarity. Um, I'm not sure whether that switch switches it over or not because I've not got a new van, but I know there's definitely a light on the van that tells you whether it's reverse polarity. Well, does that affect your van? Um, no, it doesn't. Um, your van will still run, but what that does mean is that if you uh, connect up to reverse polarity, that some of the, um, if you have a kettle or a toaster, although it's switched off, those items may still be live. So it's not dangerous, but if there's any fault with the wiring on any, any of the appliances in the vehicle, then it could become a little bit of an issue. So how can you get around this? What can you do? Well, I did a bit of research into this and I bought myself two of these. Now, if you can see, they're just standard. These are the European two two pin plugs okay but what I've done is I've got two of them one that says reverse on it okay and then one's just a normal one so when you get on site you need to check it now what I do is I just put the normal when I get there is I just put the normal uh, socket in and then I connect it to an extension lead which I have here so I connect it to this extension lead and we have this little gadget that I use, okay? So you plug that into it. So before it's hooked up to the caravan, I'll just plug that uh, extension lead into there. And uh, if you look at that on there, it's got different lights on it. And it tells you if there's one red light there, that's live, uh, neutral, reverse. So uh, I'll show you what we do then. And then no earth for two lights. Uh, what's that one? Neutral fault. So it tells you whether there's a fault there, there's two lights on the right hand side, and then uh, live earth reverse, okay? So um, what it can do there is there's three lights on, it's correct. So if it's reverse, what you can do, uh, I bought this from a caravan shop, it was about, uh, about six or seven pounds, but what you can do is then put your, if it is reverse, put your reverse connector on. So what I'm gonna do is just open this up and just basically show you what I've done with this. So if you can see the actual plug, all I've done there is uh, obviously the brown and blue wires, uh, the live and the, the neutral, I have just switched them round. That's all you do. So that's my reverse plug. Um, uh, and it's really important to write like I've done, right reverse on the plug, um, because obviously you don't want to get it wrong. Um, but that's again, that's that's the plug. Just switch the, the cables round, 
and you can uh, just change it around there no problem it's a very easy job to do so uh, just a quick short video on that i hope that's been helpful um please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you soon with some more videos bye bye